It's been off the road since 82. Oh man, I have just opened up the worst carburetor. Oh! Ooh. Today on Cars and Cameras, we picked up this 1974 Honda CL125 for 200 bucks. And that might look like a great deal, but looks can be deceiving. The engine is stuck, we have loose bolts on the side of the engine, thinking that someone went in there trying to fix it. The exhaust is rusted off, the inside of the fuel tank looks horrible. This thing has a lot of issues. And on top of all that, it's been off the road since 1984, so it's been sitting for nearly 40 years. Well, in today's episode, we're going to be testing the Honda name once again and seeing if we can't revive this small bore 125 and send it around the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. Not bad. All oh, right. Well, there's a little bit of oil in there. Should but... be the stator and flywheel. All right. So we're just going to get a wrench on that bolt and uh, see if we can start rocking it. Yeah, I'm assuming it's going to be like normal threads, so I guess we'll try to the right first before we break it loose. Very gentle. Yeah. Hey, give it back. <laughs> yeah. All right, right there. Okay. Hold on. Dude, we have some... Movement. I put the weight of my hand on that. I'm going gently. All hmm. right, let me check in the, in the cylinder. Oh, oh hold oh. on. Maybe I freed something up. Dude, this man told me it was stuck, and I verified oh. that it was stuck. Will it make a full... Oh! Whole... No! Gla <laughs> Safety glasses! <laughs> Will it make a full revolution? <laughs> sounds like my, Dude, four like my four-wheeler at Busco. This thing was stuck. Whoa! Okay. Sorry. You got oh, me. Oh, I got you! <laughs> So let's pop the carburetor off and see if we can shoot a little blaster in there, or uh, some starting fluid in there. See what happens. All right. Oh. Oh man. It's really bad. That that thing's as rough as ten miles of back roads. Oh boy. But usually. Lots if, of coffee grounds. Sorry. If you, <laughs> if you don't have bubbling on the underside of your tank, you're usually okay. But yeah. We're gonna do the tumble trick on this thing, mm. and that'll be the real the real tell. All right, so I popped this cover off. You can see it; it's got a clear battery, which That's is cool. looks pretty bad. You could tell because you could see in it, and then it looks like Stuart Little ate your toolkit because oh, yeah, there's just a nut. Yep, that's all that's left. No tools. One single nut. But that really is cool. That like behind all this, you had a toolkit. And the other sweet thing about this bike comes with the key. Oh, dude. And it works for the helmet holder and the steering lock, which uh, is pretty rare these days. Managed to pop this plastic off without breaking any of the tabs. I mean, Ooh. that's that's fantastic. We get that polished up. And then we have the original boot, which is still in, still in decent shape. The previous owner said it's been sitting since 84, but it's been sitting in a garage. Now, the exhaust is rusted off, so you got to wonder what kind of garage, but I mean, so far, it's not bad. So we're going to pull this carburetor off and see what we find. i got to say, man, this bike's pretty much complete. Yeah. Except for the, the exhaust, exhaust and the chain. Which I looked it up, and an exhaust for one of these is just like twice as much as I paid for the bike. So oh. we're going to have to make something. Um, I think we got a... Yeah, I think we got something. We have the... Uh, the heat shield so as long as we come up with a small glass pack or something it'll look factory absolutely I, mean? I wonder i wonder what an rlv muffler would sound like on one of these oh, there we go nice i was about to see if i needed to set it down and give you a hand all right that seat pan is okay well it's not great but i mean that's workable dude we've seen worse i'll sit on that oh that's pretty cool the air box looks intact too yeah this all is right. so cool. nice what was that face again? Oh, just like the wiring. I guess it's fine, but... Uh, I don't see any wire nuts. Yeah, no wire nuts. That's good. Oh, okay. Winner. Oh, man. 
Well, there's the ignition coil. Oh, it stinks. Oh, yeah, oh that's gosh. bad. It's pretty all the way around, except except, except, on, except on the inside. Except on oh. the inside. Uh oh. I found a hole. Really? God, I got the poo on me. It stinks. I smell like that. I smell like the inside of that tank now. All right. So I guess we'll start soaking this thing so we can get this apart, and then we'll go from there on this. Oh. That's pretty crusty. Yeah. Ugh. So we're gonna grab some WD-40 and some kind of uh, brush, try to get all that out before we run this engine. We're gonna make sure the valves are closed first, or at least the intake valve. Yep. So I have just opened up the worst carburetor I've ever seen that I'm still gonna try to save. And the only reason I'm still going to try to save this is because it's a Honda, and I want to test and see just how far gone these can be before you can save them. I don't think we got any spark. I see no movements here. I don't think they're opening. Hmm. Well, no, no break of contact, no spark. So let's see what's going on with that. All right, well, we've tested the points. We adjusted the points. We tested the condenser. We made sure our ground was good on the coil. We changed our spark plugs out. Still no spark. Then Mr. Isaac shows up. I was about to say, yeah, and then we found an Ike. Then we found an Ike who popped open the, uh, the uh, fuse box here. Said, oh, we got a bad fuse. Let's put a new fuse in it, put some power to it. Spark. Thank you all for doing the hard work. Yeah, so Charles and I did the hard work and I just showed up and said, bam. <laughs> so that's just proofs in the pudding. Sometimes, you, you know. You need an Ike. Some, well, sometimes you need an Ike and sometimes keep it simple, stupid. And that's what, that's the lesson we keep having to learn. <laughs> uh, but we have Spark, so we're going to show you and um, we're going to get a spark plug in this thing and uh, hit it with some PV blaster. Nope, some uh, starting fluid and uh, see if it'll go vroom. I don't really understand why these old Hondas, you need like a working battery for spark or you have to have a battery hooked up. Is it a reference? Have up. It's reference signal, right? I mean, it's power. Oh, it's, it just and needs the What power. if your battery is it. dead? That's, that's a big, it won't run. Wow. Yeah. What? What did they do yeah, to it won't get run. rid of that? Huh. Okay. Well, I, st I stumped Ike. <laughs> I know that uh, on these older Hondas, uh, like if you have a weak battery, one, it's not going to charge the battery. It's like these things have to have a really good battery for the charging system work, which makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, the Achilles heel. Yeah, it really is. These old Hondas, but I, I love them though. All right, so uh, we should have Spark and. Uh, Side note. All that it's full of uh, Taco Bell debris on this. <laughs> what is that from? That's from the, the just now. No, the the uh, the King Midget. Yeah, that's from oh, the that's King, that's from the King Midget. <laughs> oh, you mean the hat? <laughs> oh, the exhaust. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, let me turn the key on. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Hey. hey, looks fantastic. Looks great to me. Nice. Right. I was getting worried too because this was a two year only bike and finding a wiring diagram is hard. So I know I had a hard time finding yeah. uh, stuff. But hey, it's working now and hopefully we'll, this thing will fire right up and everyone's going to be happy. You okay. guys ready? Oh, I heard something. <laughs> This is where we check timing. Hold on. <laughs> that needs to be tightened up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh! Uh oh. <laughs> you got a little bit of wire here, boys. <laughs> 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 I think that's a good place to stop. It runs, boys. Yeah. Woo. Hey. Good job. Good job. Come on, buddy. Good job. Good job. <laughs>
So our CL125 has got fire, that is awesome. The only two remaining things are, one, the carburetor, which John is working on right now, uh, doing a beautiful job on that. And another thing is this tank. Uh, we really love this tank, love the color. It'd be hard to match it. So we have uh, come up with a solution for tumbling this uh, tank to get the rust out of it. Uh, you know, we're kind of pretty popular on, on, the, on the fact that we'd like to strap these things on go-karts and four-wheelers and stuff like that. But, you know, there's always that chance of overheating or ruining anything. So uh, let me present to you the Gas Tank Cleaner 2000. Ha ha! Yeah. <laughs> I need that roll cage for race season. <laughs> okay, okay. So what I got here is I got a blower motor from a Miata. I love this idea. Dude, this is insane. A battery charger. Yeah, you put a piece of rubber on the output shaft so it's, yeah. I mean, it's tire it's on wide. tire, basically. Ooh, nice. Yeah, it's got it on six volt. Yeah, um, for the speed. So it's I, got low, medium, and high. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> All right. And, and it we... seems to have the strength yeah. to keep going. That's pretty cool. Well, let's so, get it strapped up there, man. Well, hopefully it'll do all right. I love your idea of the pad underneath. We yeah. should probably put the pad underneath it just in case. So just for reference, there's before. It's so hard to see in these things, but it is horrible. I think it's great. I don't think it's too bad, bud. I can't believe Mr. Carburetor went EV. He says no no replacement for displacement, and he replaced this, my four-wheeler, with this electric stuff. Only because I'm trying to save your four-wheeler. <laughs> it was in the bottom of a pond this weekend. It's fine. You're not going to believe what this thing looks like now. So we still have some rust on the choke lever there, but I mean, look at that. That Even looks, better. That looks great. Yeah. So I'm gonna get this thing blown out one more time and get it assembled and we'll see if it still carburetes. Looks pretty good to me. Oh, I'm sorry. What? Nothing. Looks pretty good to you, huh? And then you remember how terrible the bowl was. Oh, that thing looks great. It looks brand new. Uh, the float was also covered in like, uh, 16th inch of that tar. Oh, that looks great. Looks great. I was gonna put air in the tire, but it's already got it, but. Woo! That's good for a hot lap. Hmm. What about the rear one? Uh, it won't hold any air. All right, it kind of started to run badly there, didn't it? Yeah, it didn't like what what uh, throttle position I had it at. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to check the valves, valve lash. Yeah. Yep. Um, Other than that, it, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, well, it's not idling, but that's probably a yeah. carburetor adjustment. Wow, can't believe it, dude, from stuck Sounds to like running. Sounds like it's frying bacon yep. in here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a little spider. Spider barbecue. Nice. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. All right, got to hey, work on the idle. Uh, we can hook an air box up to it, adjust the valves. Oh, there we go. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm glad we uh, we checked. Because I'm assuming this is supposed to be covered in some foam. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's nut storage right there. Yeah, I don't even want to. I don't even want to dig in that barehanded. Oh, 
Oh, oh, I guess there's a nut in there, too. I didn't put it in there. <laughs> like, you might need to go to the doctor, bud. Yeah. It's my famous Beanie Weenies. Oh, yeah, throw it in the ditch. That Ooh. is disgusting, buddy. Dude, that is so nasty. Oh, there's so much in there. Yeah, there's even more. Yeah. But you can see, look at how nice that the, the tank is on the inside once you get beyond the nastiness. Yeah. Dude, that's, that was a haiku. I gotta get coin and be like, some yeah. animal left him. <laughs> <laughs> so those green chunks are what the media looked like when it went in. That's what it looked like coming out. Check it out. Check it out. Oh. Wow. Whoa. Dude, it's bare metal. Yeah, that looks fantastic. I mean, that's, that's the, yeah. Do you think that's the factory tank liner, or do you think that's just metal? Factory oh, tank. They don't have liner in these. Oh, so it's just metal. It's metal. You're going to have a dead spot in the grass, honey. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> this fuel tank has been tumbling for 12 hours. Probably. Maybe longer, and we have most of the gunk out of it. Ike is now using our favorite trick tank weld to fix the uh, gaping hole in the fuel tank. And now we're down to the details. So this is a really nice barn fine bike. So we're gonna get this hole in the fuel tank patched. Uh, Charles and I are gonna tear the bike down a little bit more so we can get a, give it a good cleaning for that nice original survivor look. Then we're gonna be throwing it together, taking it for a rip. I wanna be able to eat lunch off that frame. Don't worry, it's happening. All right, I love this backrest it's the triple a dude i sanded dude. it and i found the label on it it's the triple a dude this is this is so good front brakes work good it's for two people scoot yeah. up no scoot up no scoot up I, I oh so you'll do it off camera yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's meant for two people come on We'll have at it. No, Dude, my like, dad to told me a story. I told him I bought a Honda 125. Yeah. He's like, I used to ride on the back of my cousins when I lived in Kansas City. <laughs> yeah, wow. I bet he didn't have no backrest like this, though. Probably not. So, now that we've cleaned this bike up to be probably the cleanest it's been since it rolled out of the showroom, we're going to see if it runs and rip it around the backyard. Dude, I bet you if you keep messing with that horn, eventually it's going to go to work. And yeah. We have, it's like trying to work. Got, signals? Yeah, do we have any lights up here? No. Lights? Okay, we might have a It, it might come on when you crank it up, like on a... Oh, on a Trail 70. Trail 70. All right, let's see what happens, boys. How many kicks? <laughs> Can't even kick over. One, two, five. One! Wow. That's awesome. Uh, play with the high beam and low beam. light oops i think the clutches are stuck probably we've that's what we've found um cool well i guess i'll get a helmet on and uh we'll go play with it outside i'll like, give it a well, shot first okay like again it's not so gonna work is it he needs to push you need to get a little speed yeah let him push you yeah, can you push me? yeah so get it running and then i'll just you tell me when you're ready wow i'm ready It sounds great. I think a little bit of a a, a taper tip for the exhaust would yeah. make it make it look factory, but it's okay. Clutch works. Sweet. Yeah. Dude, that 
that thing is already. I love it. I like it. I love it. it so. It's it's kind of strange seeing the uh, the the back like the back rest and uh -huh. the mirrors yeah. on the property. Yeah. Because you know, we're it, it, it's a motor. It's a it's a what is it? An on road bike and off road. Yeah. So what we did with uh, Charles pushing the bike. Oh yeah. Is yeah. Uh, a lot of times on something that sit a long time, the clutches will stick to the discs. So what you do is you uh, get a rolling start, you knock her in gear with the clutch pulled in, and you give it throttle, and you let off, and you just kind of jolt it back and forth. And that frees them up, and it gets frees the them up. fluid in, in between them, and gets them, you know, yep, the way they're supposed yep, to Yep, yep, little be. trick I learned way back in the day. Have carburetor issues, but uh, well, we were planning on running the crap out of it and then cleaning the carb again anyway. Yeah, how does it ride? Pretty it's, good, man. It floats, really like doesn't it. it? I love it. It feels real nimble, doesn't it? It feels super nimble, man. It's, it's the Miata of motorcycles, dude. I the side view here, it's beautiful. I love it. I do too. Yeah, yeah, this is great, dude. Who's up next? Canna, Canna, please. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Uh, here, take it. Yeah, I'm not good enough on two wheels. That, that bike's nice. Be careful, buddy. Thanks, man. Today on Cars and Cameras, we learned that just because you can clean a 50-year-old carburetor and use it doesn't mean that you should. Nailed it. <laughs> Here, hold on. I'm going to help you. I'm going to do that again. All right, give it. All right. Go. Have put the wrong tire on it but it's got the grip yeah and it actually has a quite a bit of pep to it so I mean, you can see it tearing up the the dirt i know it's just dirt but i'm kind of glad it's got some grip oh, are you kidding me dude went i went through the mud i'm sorry <laughs> it kind of caught up to me <laughs> Uh -huh. I'm telling. All right, we're going to the car wash. I'm telling. <laughs> Dude, look, it's freaking it's so filthy. <laughs> oh, it's all right, man. Yeah, yeah. Carburetor needs some work. That's why we love you. I think it needs some work. Nope, I think it died on him. Carburetor needs some work. Smoking? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I love this thing. Yeah. Definitely need some carb work. Yeah, yeah for I, sure. I thought I was gonna have to come bring oh. you the uh the pocket tune-up kit. Yeah. I can't when when I get on it and go down the hill about whenever I get to 40, 42 miles per hour, it shuts off and stuff. Uh -oh. Fuel delivery. 
Okay. Yep. I noticed when I opened up the petcock while I was on the trailer, it was just dribbling. Okay. So uh, we need to put the other petcock on it. Okay. And uh, I think we need to go through the carburetor again. Let's do it. All right. So we've been working on some other projects and the CL125 has been sitting up for a few months. Uh, but it's time to finally get a lap time on the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. These old small bore Hondas are like the Miata of motorcycles. It's so much fun to drive a slow bike fast. I've really fallen in love with this bike. Taught my girlfriend how to drive a stick shift motorcycle on it. It's just perfect for that type of low power activity. So it's been sitting up, so I figured why not see how many kicks to get it started. Oh man. Yeah, yeah no pa pressure. pause and leave a comment down below. <laughs> yeah. I'll be watching. No pressure. I gotta go to the store. Oh, but, okay. Yeah, don't have too much fun without me. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Oh, hey, Chuck. Where'd you come from? Don't ask questions you don't want answers to, man. You look like you about, are you ready to race? Yeah, you man. Out, yeah, please do. Right, get my smartphone out. tape out of this thing. Hold on. Let me see if I can pop the tape out real quick. Oh boy. Uh, I don't know how to work this thing. All right. I was not going to go fishing. I was definitely not going to go fishing. I was just moving the pole. It looked like it was in a bad spot. Hey man, what'd I miss? Oh, uh, your buddy uh, Chuck came over and <laughs> Time my lap for me. Oh, nice. All right. I guess you keep it in a secret. I better not look. All right. On the security footage, you know, it dinged me. You know, I knew he was here. I noticed he had a really nice T-shirt on, but I decided to pick one up for myself because, like, look at this. It's our new logo. It's the tag design. A little bit of a spray paint issue, but uh, I'll tell you what. It's a nice light material, super breathable. Like on a hot day like today, and it's the long tail T. So you know when you're. It keeps your dad's side protected when you're checking under the sink. You know, you know, dad stuff, you know, whatever. But uh, if you want one, pick one up for yourself at cars-cameras.com. That's right. It's a great way to help support the channel. And uh, we still have a couple of photos left. So on our King Midget road trip, we took a bunch of uh, disposable photos and we're signing them and sending them That's out right. with orders that come in. We still have just a couple of left. So go ahead and pick up one of our brand new tees, support cars and cameras, and get a unique photo from our road trip. We learned that the front end was collapsed on the CL125 and it's been collapsed this whole time. So oh, yeah. A little sketchy at the higher speeds, especially over the bumps. Uh, so it, uh, that's a warm lap. But anyway, go out there and find yourself an old small bore Honda. They are so much fun. Z50, CT70, XL70, CL, uh, CB, any of the old small stuff. It's so much fun. Thank you all for watching this episode. Leave a thumbs up. And again, cars-cameras.com. Pick up a t-shirt or pick up a Mini Mayhem t-shirt in preparation for Mini Mayhem, which is coming up October 20th oh through 22nd, 2023 at Busco Beach, North Carolina. Join our Facebook group if you're not already a part of that. I'll link that in the video description as well. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. All right. I'm going to be like my personality and split. Dude, I bet that carburetor was savable because it's non-ethanol fuel that was in this thing. It was parked in 84. Yep.
All right, I'm just gonna let her kind of do its thing, and then we'll uh, figure out what we're gonna do from there. Cool.